Hey, heathens. So I was going to save this for later, but I decided to go ahead and do it because I kind of got outed a little bit. Uh, not really, but uh, Cygnus did a video response to my last Theus Say the Dumbest Things. And he included in his last t-shirt, Christianity isn't a religion on a t-shirt. And this was actually a video that I was going to do. I was going to save it for later. I, was, uh, I, I thought this was probably the the best of the series. So I was going to try and you know build it up and make it the number ten, you know, or whatever. But uh, ah, whatever. We'll go ahead and do it now, right? Christianity isn't a religion. Come on, that's really, really stupid. Um, okay. Here's basically how the argument goes, and if I'm not doing it justice, feel free to post your video response. I repeat, video response. Don't send me your private messages about this crap, people. Really, if you're not willing to do a, a video response, I really don't care because this is a really dumb argument. But anyway, it goes something like this. Christianity isn't a religion. It's a relationship with Jesus Christ. Okay. So, um... I figured the, the first step, uh, since we're talking about words and their definitions, is to grab a dictionary. I have multiple dic dictionaries here at the house. I actually have four dictionaries that I use. Uh, don't ask me why I have four dictionaries. It's, I, I, that's how it ended up happening. But I had this one. I felt like it was the best one. And I think you'll agree. It's from Webster's. Okay, It's the Webster's American Family Dictionary. Includes Bible terms. That's got to be the right one to use, right? It's got to be. The Webster's American Family Dictionary, including Bible terms. That's got to. Uh, that's got to be the right one to figure out if Christianity is a religion. So let's let's see what this particular dictionary has to say about the word religion. Okay, number one, a set of beliefs concerning the cause, nature, and purpose of the universe. Um, hold on, I know you guys are chomping at the bit here. You want to say, oh, but what about Big Bang? If that's your set of beliefs concerning the cause and nature and purpose of the universe. But see, that's where you go wrong. Big Bang does not propose any purpose to the universe. So you're still wrong. But it doesn't matter because the, the definition continues on. Especially when considered as the creation of a superhuman agency or agencies usually involving devotional and ritual observances and often containing a moral code for the conduct of human affairs. Okay, Christianity, a set of beliefs, they have beliefs, concerning the cause, nature, and purpose of the universe. God did it um, because he's a sadistic piece of crap. Uh, when considered uh, as the creation of superhuman agency, God, uh, usually involving devotional prayer uh, and ritual observances, plenty of those, and often containing a moral code, <laughs> we've heard that a lot, um, for the conduct of human affairs, right? Ten Commandments, all that, we, that's Christianity, right? Okay, so there's six total definitions of religion, so maybe that isn't the definition that they're talking about. Maybe maybe they're using religion in a different way. So let's go to number two. A specific fundamental set of beliefs and practices. All right, well, we've already covered that. Generally agreed upon by a number of persons or sects. Well, that's a very broad definition of Christianity. Oh, look, or I'm sorry, of religion. But look. <laughs> Colon. The Christian religion. That's what it says. I'm not joking. It's what it says. Number three. The body of persons adhering to a particular set of beliefs and practices. Colon, a world council of religions. Okay, that's definitely not Christianity. Maybe that's what they mean. It's not that kind of religion, but the world council of religions Includes Christianity, so you're out on that one. Number four, 
the life or state of a monk. That's a cr Christian, yeah. Nun, Christian, uh, etc. Colon to enter religion. Um, number five, the practice of religious beliefs, ritual observance of faith. Are you telling me you don't have faith anymore? Uh, number six, something a person believes in or follows dev devotedly. All of those are Christianity. Every single one. Which brings me to, let's go back to their argument now. It's not a religion, it's a relationship. What they're trying to do here is they're basically trying to separate themselves from other religions. The same way that religion has separated itself from the word mythology. Mythology means fake. Religion means it might be true. Well, now they want to say, no, 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 ours is true. And I've heard that argument before, too. Christianity is not a religion. It's true. Still a religion. It doesn't change anything whether it's true or not true. It's still a religion. It's simply a word that defines this. But, so, so why is it that you're trying to get away from this word religion. We make arguments, you know, myself and other atheists and, you know, there's plenty of books out on the subject, everything else too. We make books on this or books on this stuff and videos on this stuff and everything else and we 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 talk about it and we debate about it. And now you change the rules to say, "Oh no, no, no." It's a relationship, or it's the truth. Well, let's, let's do the relationship one here. Since you're just simply trying to separate yourself from the word religion because you want to attach it to the same way that the word mythology has been used, what do you think the Greeks had? Do you think the people who worshipped Athena don't have a relationship with Athena? They talked to her, they prayed to her, they, they gave uh, offerings to her. They had a relationship. You don't think that uh, Wiccans have um, have a relationship with their deities as well? I mean, come on. Um, this whole idea that it's a relationship. Uh, I mean, talk about a long-distance relationship. <laughs> what if your spouse was like Jesus? I mean, seriously. If... If your spouse were like Jesus, and this was the relationship you had, it, kind of, it would kind of work like this. Um, let's just take me, for example. I, I talk to my wife, but I never hear her answer me. But I'm supposed to figure out bec from her mysterious ways uh, the signs that she gives me in order to figure out what it is that she wants. And whatever her will is, I just have to go along with it. It's kind of a crappy relationship, wouldn't you agree? Okay, so, and then there's the truth one, right? Well, they all think they're the truth. That's why they're a religion. Um, in closing, I'd like to throw something back at you because, you know, we've gotten all this many, many times before as well. Um, I certainly hope that none of you people who are using this really, really bad argument um, aren't the same people who use the really, really bad argument of atheism is a religion. Are you really trying to shift positions now and go from atheism as a religion to Christianity is not a religion? Don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.